Adarnase II was probably born around 630 to 640 AD. He was the son of Prince Stephen II of Iberia. He was named after his grandfather, Prince Adarnase I. Sometime during his adolescence, Adarnase would see the transitional period of Islamic hegemony over Iberia. This process of readjustment had been started in 640 by his father, Stephen II, who had saved his people from the Rashidun Caliphate by voluntarily becoming a vassal to them instead of Eastern Rome. Besides having to pay the new Jizya tax, there was no real change to Iberia, other than an introduction of a new religion. Adarnase's father seemed to fall in line with his new overlord, all while Adarnase was being groomed to become the next ruling prince of Iberia. Being on the edge of this new Islamic empire meant that the Iberians had to deal with old enemies. The Khazar Khaganate had been raiding Iberia since they had accepted Rashidun hegemony. The raids from the nomadic Khazars became more and more numerous as time under Rashidun rule grew. Discontent under Rashidun rule continued to grow in Armenia, Albania, and Iberia, and especially among the religiously zealous Christians in these nations under Islamic hegemony. Adarnase saw this as a child and became even more plainly aware of it when he became the Prince of Iberia in 650, following the death of his father, Stephen II. Prince Adarnase II would continue to rule in the same manner that his father did. While the Khazars continued to raid the Iberian lands, the Rashidun Caliphate was facing a crisis. The first fitness of a war had broken out in 656, surely bringing the question of, what side do we pick, to the Iberian court. The side would be practically picked for them, as Caliph Ali's territory consisted of land around the Caucasus Mountains. They chose incorrectly though, but were largely left out of the internal conflicts of the Rashidun Caliphate. While it was called the Rashidun Caliphate until Muawiyah revolted and created the new Umayyad Caliphate by 661. Still, nothing much changed in Iberia. The new overlord again with the same old Khazar raids. The first fitness of war didn't leave Iberia with much of an option on who to join. But the second fit in a war, well, that would be a much different story. The outbreak of this new civil war in 680 would fragment the caliphate into four different parts. The part surrounding Iberia this time was under Ibn al-Zubar. This was a far more favorable situation to revolt, seeing as Ibn al-Zubar controlled much less land than Caliph Ali had. This called for a crucial meeting. This was the perfect time for revolution, and the subjugated Caucasian princes knew it. So they all met in 682 to discuss the matter amongst themselves. This meeting was attended by Prince Gregor Mumikanian of Armenia, Prince Adarnase II of Iberia, and Prince Faraz Tiridates of Albania. They all decided to collectively revolt against Islamic overlordship. This decision was not an easy one, but these three small kingdoms had used their mountainous terrain to keep out invaders before, and why couldn't they do it again? These three kingdoms managed to largely kick out their overlords' armies. Now it was time to defend their mountainous homeland, against more opposition than was originally thought. About a year after the start of this revolution, an old enemy would smell weakness. The Khazar Khaganate saw the fragile state of the caliphate, and when they saw the Caucasian princes in revolt, well, that's the only excuse that they needed to start a full-scale invasion. As the three princes held off Arab attacks effectively, they were also being surrounded by the raids of the Khazars. Between these two massive armies, the three princes could only last so long. Faraz Tiridates of Albania gave up first, and submitted back to Islamic overlordship, as he wanted to focus on the raids from the Khazars. Then, Iberia and Armenia would be devastated by the Khazar raids, while the Arabs cleaned up the rest of this little rebellion. In 685, after three years of constant warfare, the princes of Armenia and Iberia were forced to give up their fight. Their punishments for rebellion would be death. Prince Adarnase II of Iberia would die in battle against the Khazars in 685. His succession would be the prince's ultimate punishment, as it wasn't his son that succeeded him, but his rival. Guram II of the rival ruling family of the Ghurimid dynasty would be appointed by the re-established Arab overlordship. 